So let's talk on about the Democratic <laughs> side for just a minute here. Uh, Steve, the story of the night, that uncommitted vote we did here at the top of the show from the state's party chair inside the Democratic Party saying, we want to send a message here that policy and United States uh, unconditional support of Israel needs to stop. They're calling for a full ceasefire, which isn't going to happen. But clearly making a point, but saying, look, we're not going to go vote for Donald Trump. He's proposed, again, a Muslim ban. So we're not going to vote for that guy. But something needs to change if you want our vote in November. Yeah, so it's interesting. What you're seeing here actually are the delegate results. Now, I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you, why I can't get the overall statewide vote up here. But the delegate vote is worth lingering on for a minute. Obviously, look, Joe Biden is taking currently all of the delegates that have been allocated, but all of the delegates have not yet been allocated in Michigan. And so while it is an overwhelming, I mean, it, you know, the headline is an overwhelming victory for Joe Biden here, around 80 percent of the vote. But that question of uncommitted, we were talking about some very particular places. The two types of places we wanted to see how that was doing were, number one, places with large Arab American populations, large Muslim American populations, and then number two, places with large college populations, college students, college faculty and staff. Uh, we've seen all sorts of activism on college campuses against Joe Biden's Israel Hamas policy. So would that translate into uncommitted votes in that kind of a place, too? So what were the test counties for this? The big one is the biggest one in the state, Wayne County, where Detroit is. And we don't have all the vote in in Wayne County, but Detroit is not really the story in Wayne County. It's one city, Dearborn, which has 110,000 people and which is in Wayne County. And Dearborn is a majority Arab American county. It has the largest concentration per capita of Muslim Americans of any city uh, in the United States. And what happened in Dearborn last night? Uncommitted beat Donald Trump in Dearborn last night by a 56 to 41 one percent total 15 point victory for uncommitted now again you see what that translates into countywide not much but uh oh and i'll show you as well that's that's dearborn with a large arab american population and then you go next door to washtenaw which we were just talking about on the republican side university of michigan eastern michigan university college faculty all the factors we're talking about here an uncommitted landing at about 17 percent right here in washtenaw county now when we get to that delegate question Question, okay, where it's zero for uncommitted right now. The rules on the Democratic side are very different than the Republican side. All you have to do to start collecting delegates is hit 15% of the vote either statewide or within a congressional district in a state. And because that uncommitted vote, the strongest uncommitted vote, is concentrated in a rel relatively small geographic area, I just showed you it's part of Wayne County and Washtenaw County. So what does this mean in terms of delegates? Well, there's a Washtenaw County-based congressional district, and it looks like, not for sure yet, but it looks like uncommitted is going to pick up a delegate there. And then Dearborn itself is entirely included in Michigan's 12th congressional district. That's where Rashida Tlaib represents in Congress. And again, based on that Dearborn showing a delegate there, not been allocated yet, but certainly seems a, a distinct possibility in the 13th district, which is a Detroit-based district, but also has a significant Arab Muslim American population. It looks like that 15% threshold could be clear there. So we may, nothing official yet, but we may be in a situation where Uncommitted does walk away with this from this with three uh, delegates to the Democratic National Convention. Now, that's a drop in the ocean when you're talking about the delegate race and everything, but that may be what the uncommitted side got out of this. And of course, the big question, the question the uncommitted folks want people asking off this result is, hey, you know, go back to in 2020, it was 150,000 vote margin in the state for Biden. But in 2016, Trump only won it by 11,000. And the uncommitted folks want Democrats to see those numbers and say, hey, that could make all the difference. Better get the better get good with those voters. And that uncommitted movement believes that it's made its point last night with a big number. Moving on to Minnesota on Super Tuesday, Washington State and some other places to continue to do that. NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki. Steve, thanks as always. So